Oh, <laughs> shit. <coughs> <God> damn. <laughs> Shit, God. Yeah, nice to get wild. Fuck that shit. I, I, I ain't hitting that bitch, mom. Shit. Perfect. IG Live, coming on now, IG Live and shit, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitter Live, all that good shit, man, 2Gs, what's the deal, I said, damn, damn. <laughs> my man Bo checking in, what's good, dog, uh, shit, we got a motherfucking special guest, we'll get to that nigga in a minute, though, yeah, it's man. Monday and shit, dog, gotta start in a motherfucking Monday, right, the start is gonna get us out the hood and shit, yeah, riding his coattails, <laughs> so you hope so, let me turn, let me turn P shit up because he was kind of low and shit. Uh, Alright, let's get to it, dog. Y'all niggas ready? Nope. Dick in the building. <laughs> what was that nigga's name? Dick uh, Davis. Dick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb as hell, dog. Dick Davis in the building. Alright, let's get to it, dog. Yo, yo, yo. You know what it is, man. The live is cloud radio show on the planet. Earth Cuz. Straight from the E Block Radio Live on your dial. Right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. I got my man Angry Man in the building. Yeah, I'm here. Got my man Monk Money holding it down. Here. Got motherfucking Shad from the Shad versus Everybody podcast in the building. Yeah. Hello, guys. I was just waving. I might see you. Right. You can't even <laughs> see your ass, man. What's, up? What's going on, guys? How y'all feel, man? Blessings to, uh, to Uncle Leroy. Uncle uh, Leroy. Fucking, Uncle Mike. And, what's your name? Uncle E&J or some shit? Nigga? Uncle E&J, <laughs> man. What the fuck? Irking jerk. Like, that nigga shit still ain't working for real, dog. With my shit? No, nah, hell no. Nah. It's, it's sounding far as hell away. I don't know. Oh shit, I don't know, man. We can ask uh, we can Mike and shit, dog. Yeah, you know what it is. I don't know. Anyway, and it's your boy, man. Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Uh, Red zone, bitch. <laughs> Fuck it up already, <laughs> dog. Nigga forgot where he lives. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. 2DB twerking. What up, though? Say y'all be drinking early. Oh, um, shit, ain't nobody drinking it's shit. It's coffee, bitch. It's coffee and shit, dog. We smoking early, though. There you go. Yeah, UD, UDP in the building. What up, though? That's my that's uh, that's my my dog and shit. What's what's popping with you? What are you smoking? Uh, let me see. What's the? It's almost April. When, when is your shit coming out? April twentieth. April fourth. No, was it this month? Was it this month? Uh, taking shots from school. Yeah, yeah. School. When your shit coming out? I thought it was April. You said March. Shit, I think so. I think it's April, though. I think you tripping shit, shit though. Yeah, let's bet it. Bet twenty, nigga. Bet twenty. Hell, no, I'm cheap. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni just checking in. What up, though? What up, though? Sun delivery in the building. What's popping? What's up, cuz? We are gonna talk about some shit, man. We are gonna get your input. Yeah, I thought it was four twenty. That was four twenty. Um, yeah, we gonna talk a little shit about some uh, some gun control today, though. Should be an interesting conversation uh, because of the conversation I had on Saturday uh, with the BBW crew and shit. Uh, I'm gonna bring that up in just a moment. We'll get to that. But uh, shit is Monday, niggas. What's what's popping, dog? Angry man, shit. How was your weekend, bro? Like, what you? Uh, I ain't gonna ask you what you do. I'm just gonna say how it was. Why you ain't gonna ask me what I do? Cause you always say nothing, and I just didn't want you to give me a one word answer. I did do something. Okay, what is it, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here, bro. Hustle, hustle nights with two steppers. What up, though? I, I seen you at uh had. And hit me up and shit. Yeah, for sure. That we we love to have some action like that Liberty, in the city, dog. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. And you said Sound Liberty. That's why I'm like, damn. I, yeah. I thought you just watched your shit on YouTube. Yeah, this is uh YouTube. I'm watching. I, I'm reading comments from everywhere. Damn, I didn't know y'all back on YouTube. Yeah, we everywhere, cause. Oh shit! I thought yeah, y'all don't still worry banned. about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. We everywhere. We, yeah, we is still banned. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm tricking the system now. Don't okay. worry about it, dog. God damn! I said don't worry about it. You're still what up, dog? Bitch like dirty tampons, nigga. Right? What's popping, dog? No, no. You want to know what I did? Yeah, what you do, though? I got some sleep. Yeah, all right, that's what's up. So, uh, how, was, how was the sleep? I guess yeah, I, that shit was good, man. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. That, that pretty much ain't normal for me to sleep the way I, I just slept. Factual. You know what I mean? I actually was laying down by 10 o'clock. And um, I woke up around 3.34. Mm -hmm. Feeling the best I done felt in a long time, man. You know what I did after that? 
Mm. I laid my ass back down. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so uh, that, that was pretty exciting <laughs> to me, man. <laughs> All righty then. Uh, yeah, so my money, how was your weekend, huh? I don't know if it was laid back as dogs and shit. That is how you talking then, fuck. All right, here, yeah, just take a little closer for you. So I'm just saying. This woke is up with babies on my face, man. Babies. Pause. Babies on his face. Pause. <laughs> she made him throw babies. <laughs> I'm trying to give them to you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, my, my grandsons was crawling all on me and shit. Yeah, oh, I feel you. <laughs> That's sick. He had babies on his face. I got confused. That's what woke me That's what woke me up. Yeah. Ain't nothing like a baby slob all on your motherfucking face to wake you up and shit. I don't know. FDK thing. I don't know. Fuck them kids. Yeah. I don't know about that shit, though. Well, he five months, so he can get away with that shit. Yeah, I figured they. My money, dog. What's up? What's poppin' with you, dog? Easy Street motherfucking saloon, man. That's what's popping with me, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Brunch went kind of smooth yesterday. You know what I'm okay. saying? Y'all come out, you know what I'm saying? Show some support to your boy, you know what I mean? I'm in that thing all day, everything. No doubt. Uh, shit. That's, that's about it for that's your about boy, it. you know what I'm saying? Just banging, dog. I work six days. This is my only motherfucking off day, you feel me? Yeah. So that's why I've been at all week, and I'll be there next week all week. Then next week after that? All week. Nope, I'll be gone. Nigga. Oh, shit, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we out this bitch. I forgot about that shit. Yeah, that's coming Mark. up pretty soon, huh? Hey, Mark, I got a question for you about the uh, about the brunch. Talk to me. I'll talk back. Um, Now, say for instance, do, 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 uh, say like if a group of people want to reserve some shit, how, how, how do they go about that? You just reserve it. Call they can just up. call up there? Because yeah. I had somebody ask me about that. Just call mm -hmm. up there and reserve it, baby. And what, they get like a couple tables or whatever, mm -hmm. strictly for them? Yep. All right. Well, I'll just have them contact you and you can give them the Pacific. Okay, do that. <laughs> <laughs> do that, my dog. All right, my man Dre just checking in on IG, what up, though? But other than that, man, um, like you said, I'm slanging chickens out the kitchen. For sure. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to do my thing, chef to your doorstep. I got one in North Carolina next week. That's why I won't be here. Um... Uh, I'm trying to get this shit moving, man. I'm trying sure. to, you know what I'm saying, take us to the pinnacle, you know what I'm saying? Like, pinnacle? Like, like this the, nigga using words on Monday. Like that nigga Shad, you know what I'm saying? He's going to take us to the pinnacle yeah, and shit. Man. I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm can't shit. wait. Right, we got you, <laughs> baby. I can't wait, though. It's to quit my job. We got your back like a bra strap, <laughs> Again. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got your back like a bra strap, All right, Trigger, what's good? Right, for sure. Uh, shit, we got Shad in the middle of that. What's, what's cracking with you, dog? How was your weekend, bro? Actually, yeah, good weekend, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Friday was my last day at the job and shit, man. I've been wanting to quit this job for a good two years, but shit, didn't find the right job and shit. <laughs> so I was right. gonna quit that, man. People say I was fucked up for giving them a one day notice, but they lucky they got that shit. They said a one day notice. I'm the only nigga who been in that bitch. I, I, in, in, two, in, the, in two and a half years, I worked with 58 different tired technicians. Damn. Yeah, for sure. 58? So, yeah. You not exaggerating? I'm not. God damn. I might give uh, give or take five. Might be, you know, 50. But 50? Yeah. God oh, damn. For sure, 50. That's a high-ass turnover rate, bro. And if you want to include the mechanics and the salesman, i say a strong 65. <laughs> <laughs> so niggas, my fuckers didn't quit. niggas hate that job. And then I'm like, dog, I need to get out this bitch because don't nobody pay bills but me. Like, all these little niggas still stay with their parents. Yeah. So I'm like, dog, that's how we got this bitch. You only nigga in there that really needed yeah, a job. Yeah, who needed to be there. <laughs> right. So, so, uh, Apparently, because niggas was quitting. Yeah, yeah. So Friday... That was my last day, so I was hyped, though. I'm talking about, nigga, I stayed there till 6, and it felt like I was in there for an hour ago. I was in that bitch jamming tunes, and they like, <laughs> I was that bitch like, oh, is the order up? Let me get that bitch. Like, I was All right, working, this is my last one, I, shit. I left out five minutes early and shit. Like, man, I ain't say bye, no. I just got my headphones, all my headphones. My hoodie and left, dog. Damn, yeah, that's I crazy, shit. It's like how he did Rick Mahorn when he got... <laughs> when he got fired. When he got fired, right. <laughs> <laughs> Put my shit in the bag, nigga. Got the fuck out. The fuck out. But no, my nigga did he check it in. What up, dog? Uh, Saturday was a good day, man. I got to get back to my coaching bag, man. I know I do a podcast shit, but the coaching, that's like... I'm like uh, Monk, man. He, he love cooking. I love coaching. You know what I'm saying? CNC. But, uh, <laughs> right. but no, I love coaching, dog. So I got to get back in the gym with the kids. We had... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Q. Dot Lewis and that bitch record some shit. For sure. My son almost died because that was the first time in the gym in a year. Yeah, all the motherfuckers. You can yeah. tell. Yeah, he went home and went to sleep. That nigga was laying down. Like, yeah, the motherfuckers you know, looking sleep. tired. So For sure. Tell people what you're coaching, man. Oh, yeah, you know, coaching AAU basketball, man. Uh, I might transition and stop coaching school boy because my son will be in high school next year. So I want to make sure I catch everything. Right. If I do coach school, it's going to be girls so I can catch everything he do. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, did that Saturday, man. Watched the UFC fights by myself because my head was banging. <laughs> 
Everybody feel safe on me. Then nobody want to come over. I ain't want to go nowhere. So right, it's happy you know, sometimes. Oh, Girl man, shit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Sunday had a good interview with uh, T Two Times from One Hundred Seven Point Five. Let's sure. go. Had her come on the show and shit. So it was a, it was a, it was a good weekend, man. Yeah, shout out to T Two Times. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. week gonna be a good week because no work. I'll probably record a little EP real quick, man. Of course, music, since I don't do that no more. All right, I want a feature. <laughs> yeah, podcasts are trying to rap. Be a <laughs> don't say you want a feature, bro. I want a feature, bro. I bet, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am main attraction just checked in. What up, though, baby, dog? Right around the corner. I got a couple bars, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's it, I got all I got. It's 16. A couple. 16. <laughs> yeah. That's all we I got. We need to go ahead and record ours for the month of intro, huh? That yeah, should be on, that, on the, on the, the yeah, shot. Doing that shit, man. Yeah, jump, out, jump back in my rap bag and shit, nigga. Might as well. I used to be a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I used to be all right on that motherfucker, Yeah, used to be out. That nigga Diddy say he want to get on, too. He going to have a classic little EP, nigga. Hell yeah. I'm going to put you I'm about to go ahead and put some shit on podcast and trying to rap for one. Let's Talk go. That shit. Let's fuck with it though. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Damn, we serious about this. I song. got 16 bars. I could be on two songs. I can do eight one, eight <laughs> nine. <laughs> shit. Fuck that. I got six. <laughs> fuck up the whole he shit. Be, he gonna spit the intro. Right? Yeah, yeah, the intro. Then I got six. Hey, hey, can you you remember when your boys got you booed, man? Who? Oh boy? yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Corporate Cody and shit. That was some funny shit. Got booed and shit in the talent show when we was at King. She got booed like a motherfucker. Right. Uh, yeah, no, he's uh rapping all off off beat and shit. Was fucked up. He thing, was man. he was scared. He nigga got oh, nervous. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The stage, a little stage fright, dog. Not the cue. Do I said the liberty said, can he get in too? <laughs> he wanna get in. Let's go, no. son. Hey, no, that should be too funny, dog. Too funny, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Tell him to drop them lines real quick. Right. You should have, yeah, should have him call in and motherfucker uh, drop some bars this bitch because we do got a phone now. Sure. Phone line now and shit. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah Dre just checked in. Yeah, CDQ, I guess what it was, dog. Cadillo, Damien, and, and uh, and Q and shit. Nigga. Who's Damien? Uh, my nigga Day Day. Hell no. I remember, yeah. I remember that shit, man. Nigga, rapping the ass off. That was nah, some funny shit. Rapping our ass off, nigga. No, nah, but Q oh. ripped it. He did. Yeah, he did. We all did the tell show. All three of y'all was up there, but he fucked up on his part. He fucked up. Damn. 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 I mean, that shit was all We got bad. booed like a motherfucker. Then I remember we turned around and did one at Eastern and shit, right? And we ain't get booed that time, but the uh, that was me, my nigga Day Day, and uh, shit, who was it? Damn, Dre, who the fuck was uh with us? That was me, Day Day, and uh, God damn it, I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was Apollo and shit. Might have been Apollo, but uh, <laughs> anyway, we was uh, we was rapping, but the uh, football niggas was hating like a motherfucking shit, so they they wasn't booing us. They was heckling us though. But then I remember I was working at the uh, at the what you call that shit, the, the rec center. Couple motherfuckers coming in like, oh y'all y'all was the niggas at the motherfucking uh. Talent show, y'all niggas are straight, dog. Like, them niggas just, they be clowning niggas. Like, yeah, I know. Like, shit, y'all was straight, dog. I was excited and shit. Niggas yeah, thought I could rap. Yeah, and then after that, I was like, man, fuck that. I'm write poetry. This <laughs> 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 shit for the birds, nigga. Yeah. I'll leave the stage shit for somebody else, bro. Yeah, we got a phone number now, dog. Diddy, we out here, dog. If you want to give us a call and shit, uh, we ain't going to answer the phone right now. But at, once we get to our for real topic, that phone number is 313-444-3032, dog. Damn. Hey, see, my man said delivery already said that shit, 444. See, I'm telling you that yeah, shit. That shit. Bro, I didn't even know y'all had that shit. Hell yeah, we back in this what, bitch, what dog. What phone y'all answer? Uh, shit, right here, nigga. Oh, Google oh. Voice, nigga. 313-444, nigga. 3032. <laughs> That's how I'm Hell yeah, I know. We got a phone number, dog. Call and holler at your boy, I'm man. I'm going to put y'all intro again, dog. Yeah. Now we we gonna put our intro together. Right, man, man. About yeah. to, I'm about to pull out my six bars. You got you say you got six well you got eight. Yeah. So I got eight, six, and then you just gotta carry it to slack. Yeah, I'm nigga. going Thursday, dog. You going Thursday? Yeah, Alright, we'll fuck around with it, dog. Uh, it's gonna have to be early. Bet. Teddy said bet. These niggas talking shit. We not about to be in this bitch rap. <laughs> I'm you weak. We gotta call huh? You weak. I'm going. I gotta write my shit then. <laughs> gotta write gotta my find, shit. Find I'm gonna write my shit then. Pump fake like I freestyle that bitch. Like nigga, I got bars, cuz <laughs> all from the dome, nigga. Send me the beat. As soon as you get it. All right. So, yo, hold on. This is gonna be for the for the intro. Yeah. yeah. For the show. And then yeah. and then I'm on. Oh, he wanna jump on the regular oh, song. Man, I ain't man, jumping man, on the regular man. song. Man, you gotta tell me what type of uh, song you wanted to do it, cause I got a whole bunch of shit. Dog, no, I ain't even gotta know how to deliver that shit. Tell me where we at. Right, man. I ain't rapped on the mic in so long, bro. Like it's a whole breathing technique, <laughs> a whole delivery, nigga. all that shit different, nigga. I ain't about, did that shit in years. It's about to be terrible. No, <laughs> terrible as fuck. <laughs> like <laughs> So my name is Quincy. I'm here to say, <laughs> the fuck, nigga? I'm a big round dude. Now come to play. <laughs> I'm a podcast every day. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dog. 
Yeah, niggas clowning you. You ain't even dropped the bar to the track shit, nigga. <laughs> no, he's stupid as hell. Yeah, we all 40 and shit. Uh, nephew ain't 40, though. So he he the youngin' and shit. So he can still rap. We the old niggas and shit. Yeah. But still, like, uh, shit, what was my man name? On the, what, what, God damn it, what movie was that, dog? Uh, um, shit. Yeah. Days Little Girls, right? No, the, no, no, the other shit. It was, uh, it was, uh, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. It was fucking LL Cool J and 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 and, and no, it was uh, my man who was dating uh, Sonal Lathan. Oh yeah, you right. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, I'm funny, what, shorty. What, what, no, that was uh, what you call it? Oh no, that was um, Deliverance from Evil with LL Cool J. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was that. Yeah, when she was uh, uh, oh girl, uh, uh, uh no, uh, what's that? Dwayne wife and shit. When he Gabrielle said he Gabrielle Union. Yeah, when he said he had mistake. That was that yeah, was Dave's little girl. That was Dave's little girl. Nigga, I told you. Yeah, that's Dave's little girl, dog. Cause that's she was on a she was on a uh, blind date. Cause Tracy Ellsworth Ross had hooked her up, and he like, dog, he rap, he got mixtape. Yeah, that nigga say he got a mixtape. Um, that nigga's gonna order some scripts. That nigga some scripts. Yeah, that nigga funny as hell, though. Yeah, all right, shit, it's, uh, it's almost ten thirty. We gotta get to Miss Quincy. Right, I am the best. Right, all the girls want to feel my booty. Right, Miss Quincy. Right, I am the best. Right, all the girls want to feel my booty. What? I record your shit. I'm gonna shoot that bitch. Uh, the last nigga did, he said, 52 Savage. God damn. Uh, no. 52 Savage, dog. Oh, no, that nigga, he's like, oh, no, shit. you know what I mean, dog? Every track should be like some, either a drink, some food. No, for sure. 52 Savage, dog. Hell, that shit is funny as hell. You can really do all you can eat, me. <laughs> all you can eat. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> niggas dumb as hell. <laughs> Bro. I, that's the, that shit take the cake right there, though. 52 Maybe Savage, 52 dog. Savage. Yeah, that's shit. <laughs> My man Josh Adams checked in. What up, though, man? What up, though? Uh, that nigga both said CB4 ass niggas and shit. <laughs> and I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. <laughs> we live in these lyrics, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Shit. Shit, funny as hell. All right, let's get to our real shit. Let's get to our real shit. Uh, Let's get to our real shit. Oh, yeah, I ain't say nothing about it. My weekend was just, uh, it was cool. Like I said, I shot with, uh, I shot with Shad. Shout out to, uh, In The Know. Uh, shout out to Coach Brittany. Uh, shout out to Coach Mal. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we, we auditioned him, man. Yeah. I told Q, he didn't know he was going to audition. I was going to see how he handled kids. Do we cuss kids out? Do we cuss while he's helping? He, yeah. he didn't say no one cuss word. No, nah, yeah, oh, right. yeah, 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 he man. Yes. We had a conversation last night about that at the store. About what? Uh, some guys was in there talking about, you know, coaching kids. And, uh, I cuss at kids. Yeah, like, he, yeah, this he, is the way I use it. He got the cussing. And I had to rate it R with me, and he and he was like, "Oh man, my bad, I ain't see your son." And I said, mm-hmm. "No, nah, that's my son. He heard worse." Trust yeah, oh yeah. Me. Now yeah. see, it's a difference if you cussing when you coaching, you cussing at them, like you dumb motherfuckers, shit like that. Yeah, but if they on, on some saying. bullshit, like, hey, y'all on some bullshit right now, like get this shit together. That's, that's the different regular, type of shit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That, and that's what I was trying to explain to him because he because he asked me if I ever coached kids before. I said, "Yeah, a couple times." Yes, and I have cussed. I mean, yeah. in my younger days, I did get in trouble one time. Yeah. This nigga both said FDK, nigga. I did get. I did have to have a meeting with the parent, the principal, and the athletic director. Damn, yeah. you went in. Huh? You went in. You must have went in on the kid. I just told him to quit playing like a punk. Yeah. And oh, bitch. No, I didn't call him. Oh, okay. So I did say quit playing like a punk. So it was punk that, yeah, that, that, they, that they was mad about? Yeah, that's it. what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, see, I, was, I see people say a pussy or a bitch or something. Yeah, but the sad part about it is in the um in the meeting I was a uh, coaching JV at the time. The varsity head coach. Oh, I'm in high school too. Oh, man. Thought it was funny. Yeah, but he was like, I understand you from the east side of Detroit. They probably talk like that all the time. Yeah, just can't do it. Yeah, there. he was yeah. like, I don't have a problem with it personally. Yeah, the mother didn't have a problem with it personally. Oh, as dad. The, the dad? father did. What? Yeah. Yep. That's surprising. <laughs> Cause he was irate that I called his son a punk. I said I didn't call him. A oh, punk. Dang. I said, you know what that means, though. He a punk. He a punk. <laughs> no, or, or the or the kid a punk for real. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's why you know the truth hurts sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah, the truth hurts sometimes. No, 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 this shit is generational, dog. If he a punk, <laughs> then daddy a fucking punk ass nigga too. Because you in high school, you go tell somebody say I'm playing like a punk. <laughs> <laughs> no, if my coach said you like a bitch, I would be like, all right, man, me go ahead and yeah. take this shit right, man. Yeah. Real quick. I would expect the mom to jump in there. No, she she she. Cause she was she was like a Af- the, uh, uh, one of the team moms anyway. Okay. And the one question that the, uh, the athletic director asked me was he playing like a punk? I said you saw the game. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why certainly. <laughs> All right. Let's get to our for real shit, man. 
Uh, if you're checking us out right now, if you haven't been checking us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that good shit, man. Today we're talking about gun control, dog. I got a specific uh, question I want to ask y'all because it came up uh, during our show on Saturday. And I want to, uh, you know, uh, reiterate that to our audience and see what y'all think. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But, of course, we got to pay some bills. We got to go to the commercial break. Real quick, dog, we'll be back in one minute. But till then, you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, motherfucker. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial. Right this moment, man, this is the Wake and Bake Show, dog. We'll be back in like one minute. Yep. Wake your ass up. It's the Wake and Bake Show, live on eblockradio.com. The E-Block Radio Podcast Network loves our fans, and we need your help. Click the link in the description and become a patron on our Patreon page. You can help us continue to deliver informative and funny entertainment as we've always done. But not only that, you'll have a chance to win free gifts, cash prizes, and get access to behind-the-scenes footage, videos, and photos. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that link in the description and become a patron on our Patreon page. PardonMyEastSide.com We've got t-shirts, long-sleeve tees, snapbacks, skull caps and yeah we even got hoodies use the promo code eblock radio to get 15 percent off right now wake your ass up it's the wake and bake show live on eblockradio.com Check one, check oh, two, yeah. check one, I check think two. If, I, uh, if we got a relationship, I can probably fuck with him. Because some people don't know how to let their coaches coach. <laughs> this yeah. nigga's yeah. a celebrity, dog. Hey, fuck y'all coaching situation, though. We're going to talk <laughs> we about back, what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. We back, nigga. See, we back. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just said we back, nigga. Like, shit, fuck y'all coaches and shit. They can fuck the kids. <laughs> fuck all that shit, nigga. Let, let us fuck with these guns, nigga. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> this nigga's a celebrity talking about pay some bills. All these commercials are, are by y'all. <laughs> He said, where's Nicole? <laughs> that nigga still, he loves Nicole and V and shit, right? No. He can have both of their ass and shit. Well, he can't have one of them, I guess. He can have V, probably. All right, we back in this bitch, dog. We talking about gun control, dog. Thank y'all for checking us out and hanging out through the commercial breaks. Uh, you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, motherfucker. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial. This is the Wake and Bake Show. I got my man Angry Man and Monk Money and motherfucking, uh, I was about to say City Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my man Shot holding it down. Drop the city. <laughs> right. <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, dog. Let's get to the shit, dog. So this is what happened, dog. Saturday, we was having this conversation. Uh, shout out to my man, Angry Principal. Uh, shout out to my man, Bo. We was recording uh, our new episode of the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. Make sure you check that out Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on eblockradio.com. Um, so this is what we was talking about, dog. Gun control. And yes, it did have something to do with school shootings. Because Angry Principal obviously uh, is a, a school administrator. Mm-hmm. And he's uh, worried about, you know, school shootings and shit like that, mass shootings. So this is what we started talking about, dog. We start, we was talking about guns, gun regulations, gun control. And this is the conversation we had. He said that he don't want to limit people's access to guns. But he said, what if you increase the price on ammo? So I was like, I said, hell to the gnaw. Because I said that what that does for me... If I'm if I'm in a lower tax bracket or living in a place where I I probably need ammunition more than others, and I don't have access to it, then that's gonna put me in a situation where I can't protect myself, and I don't think that changing the price of a of the ammu, of the ammunition is gonna stop the 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 what's the word I'm looking for crime the the type of people that's shooting up schools though because we was we were specifically talking about shooting up schools and in real life. I mean, it's not us shooting up schools. <laughs> so I think that some some people will still have access to the motherfucking ammunition, whether you increase the price to a fucking million dollars or not. It's only going to affect me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The motherfucker who living underneath the red line and shit and underneath the income bracket and shit. So what y'all think about that shit, dog? Angry man, what you say, dog? <clears throat> what, if, what if they increase the, like, hella increase the price of the bullet? No, nah, that's not going to stop it. Me and you had this debate a while back, and I said I'd never forget it. What I think they need to do, you want to stop school shootings? <laughs> beef up the I'm sorry, security at the goddamn school. <laughs> Hold on, so let me say it. As you guys already said multiple times, 
Fuck them kids. <laughs> no, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, dog. Yeah, white people saying fuck the kids now. <laughs> but, but no, like I said, I mean, a lot of people don't agree with me because they say it's going to make the school look like a prison. Yeah. But shit, that's... You want the shit to stop. You're going to have to figure out something. But you, that's why our schools don't get shot up because the fucking shit is already beefed up. It's like four niggas at the door, four, another <laughs> nigga on each door. <laughs> so, <laughs> that bitch beefed up anyway. So, you know, so the helicopters coming around. Hell yeah. Yeah. DPS come around that bitch every 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? So it my, fucking, my fucking safety's outside the city. Dog, the safety's <laughs> Yeah, they get all yeah, that shit. And then it kind of still get them to one-up on us because you're making it affordable for them, but we can't afford it. So and that's, be- that's that's what my thing was. That was that was my response to that shit. Uh-huh. It's like, you ain't doing nothing but fucking me up. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. And it's like, if I, got a, if I got a gun and can't afford ammunition and shit, and this is how he was saying it. So he was like, uh, so he's like, yo, your right to bear arms is better than my right to motherfucking well, survive and shit. And I get that. But at the end of the day, like, if I can't afford these bullets and for whatever reason, let's say my, my education level ain't high enough or my, my employment status ain't high enough where I <clears throat> where I have to live in certain areas where it's going to be a little more detrimental that I'm able to protect myself and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't have access. And that... And that's my thing. When you start increasing the the price on shit like that, to me, is an access thing. So that means once you start limiting my access, then like, where does that put me? And it's where does that put me? And it's not gonna save you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not go. It's not gonna cure your problem. I think each principal should get at least four grenades and one AK-47. Just let the motherfucker start shooting back at the ass. Oh, you say what? I don't say that again. Give each principal four grenades and an AK-47. <laughs> this nigga said four grenades. What's the grenade for? That shit killing everybody in four mile radius. <laughs> oh, well. Don't come up here on that bullshit, man. Oh, I definitely don't want that. I don't want nobody in school with no motherfucking guns, man. Them niggas can't control their kids as it is. You think I, yeah, I think, you think I want them motherfuckers to have some guns? N- nigga, fuck a baseball bat. This ain't Joe Clark, nigga. Get that nigga AK-47 and let him start shooting back at their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, Southern Liberty say that would never happen. Manufacturers, NRA, government would never go for it. Hell too no. much money involved. That's too what Bo much. said. So too that's much. that's exactly what Bo said. And he probably gonna be mad at that that him and Southern Liberty agree on something. Yeah. But that's exactly what he said on Saturday. Um, Bill in the box. What up, though? Just check that. He said ammo is expensive enough already. Also, good morning, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Yeah. yeah. I, and not only is it, I'm not even gonna say it's like. Not even just talking about the expensive uh, expensiveness of it and shit right now, but it's just the, the scarcity though. Like it, it ain't available. Like you can't find it. So, like if you can't get to it now, imagine what happened then. And then at the end of the day, stuff like like if these suburban schools getting shot up and shit, dog. Like most of the time, the the people that they getting these guns from, parents, uncles, whatever and shit, they are gonna be in a position to still purchase that shit no matter what the price is. And our and our thing and shit is like you got legal gun owners and shit where we trying to do shit by the book and we also trying to maintain our lot li- our livelihood nigga. And, and if you got to choose between a sandwich for junior and shit or bullets for the gun to protect junior that's a tough motherfucking decision yeah, to have yeah. to make. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a situation. Being that motherfucker yeah. throwing your gun at the nigga. <laughs> you yeah. feel me right? But so y'all talk about the school shit, man. I went yeah. to suburban school and then I went to a hood school. Yeah. We, you know how you go to the school, your school, you got to present your ID. You know what I'm saying? Once you get in that bitch. And I know yeah. it's we had to go through metal detectors. And then you give me your ID, whatever. When I went to Gross Point, nigga, we never showed our ID. Walked right through the door. Anybody yeah. walked through the door. Just like like nigga, a trust it's system. Up in the air, nigga. Yeah. Like, you can do whatever you want to, nigga. Like, yeah. You can walk in that bitch right now, nigga. Nobody going to be yeah. like, they're going to probably do your appearance some shit. Well, hopefully, shit. hopefully that shit changed now. It should. Right. Hopefully it's a little tighter now. Because well, times have times changed. Yeah, yeah, it's but, tight in DPS now because yeah, shit. Yeah. DPS has been, always been yeah, tight. He's talking about the... Yeah, like Ghost Point North. Right through the door. Like, nigga, I went up in Arms, boy, they took my picture, nigga. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell is all this? And they took my picture and gave me like a little temporary ID to be in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They never did that. Damn, they signed up like the... Yeah, like the Ghost Point North people. Yeah, they took my picture. I never did that. Damn, they, no, they sounded like the same person. Now, this shit crazy. So, Liberty said guns are not just about protection. It's a right. People like them, dog. I swear this is the same thing Bo was saying mm-hmm. on Saturday. You a, you an undercover motherfucking Trump supporter, Bo and shit. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't even know it, dog. Because y'all niggas are saying, like, in real life, exactly the same thing. See, and, and, and they looking at it that way. Like, 
And Bo said that shit on Saturday. He said, like, nigga, it's my right. I just enjoy them motherfuckers. Like, like Q, he told me, like, Q, you talking about protection shit? Fuck all that. I just like them bitches. Yeah. And, they, and he's saying exactly the same thing. For me, it's, for me, it's about being able to use that shit to get a nigga off me and shit. And again... Like I'm speaking because like I still I still live in the red zone and shit. You know what I'm saying? So people that don't live or, or see my everyday circumstances shit might not have that same you know that, that same idea uh -huh. behind it and shit. But like for me, yeah, having a gun and shit is to keep a nigga off me. Uh -huh. It's to keep me safe. Uh -huh. That's the first thing I'm thinking. And then it's like then yeah, it's cool to go shoot them bitches and and find new guns and shit and learn new shit. Like that's cool. That's my <laughs> secondary though. <laughs> My primary is getting a nigga off me. Right. Survive to live another day and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my, my primary thing. And if you start limiting access, which when you change the price, it is going to limit access. I don't give a fuck how you put it or how you phrase it. Motherfucking bullets expensive. We can't afford it. We try to find other ways to get it. Uh, like exactly. Legal ways. There you go. And then all kind of other shit happens. And then Papa Joe don't even want them bitches out there. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Papa Joe want to get them bitches off the street. Now, see, that can't, that can't happen. And, then, and it's not going to happen, bro. Like, motherfuckers are addicted to that yeah. shit like smoking weed. Like, yeah. I like he said, like a lot of motherfuckers just like him. Like, I was just talking to my homeboy last night, you know what I'm saying? Big burly white dude, and mm. I'm asking him how, like, man, like, these motherfuckers love guns so much, bro. Yeah. Like, how many you got right now? Oh, 17. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I got 17 guns, and you know, yeah. I just like to play with them. Go shoot them. Go, go you know shoot them. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck with them. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we go go to the uh, comments real quick on IG. Uh, B Rock, what up, though? Oh, speaking of B-Rock, I meant to hit you. I think somebody cloned your account, though, because I got a friend request from another B-Rock, and I know that ain't you. Uh, <laughs> if you want gun control, tell more black people to buy and register for guns. They will change the laws hella quick. <laughs> you probably right. Eddie Griffin said that shit. Yeah, yeah, Eddie Griffin said that shit. Uh, Jay said, no, the bullet is jacked. I always say it's not the guns in general, man. It's the automatic weapons, ARs and AKs. Uh, man, it's too, it's too hard to regulate now. Because it's way too many on the streets and shit. Um, like when you start getting into specifics, cause I think I think they said I think Angry Principal said something about that too about like the automatic weapons and shit, ARs, AKs and shit like that. But like, I mean, yes, they are assault rifles and shit. Um, I mean, but uh, shit, guns is guns though. Nigga. Like you can't. I don't think you can kind of restrict one and then not the other. Like I don't know. This is, I, mean, this is, I don't care what caliber of bullet is gonna make us a, a hole in it. It's gonna make a hole in it. <laughs> so and this was my thing. So this is what I was telling. Uh, this is what I was telling Angry Principal. And this is the way I looked at it. Uh, I I feel like uh, gun violence in general, not just uh, school shootings or, or like you know uh, inner city uh, robberies or murders or anything like that. I think that. In order to fix it, it's not a like it's not a it's a social issue. It's not a commodities issue, and what I mean by that is that um, it's something that needs to be fixed socially. It's not nothing you can you can fix with marketable trade. So like you making shit unaccessible due to economics and shit is not gonna fix the real problem. Mm -mm. Cause like if a motherfucker crazy, they just go figure out another way to kill a nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not the ax it's not the it's not the commodities. It's not it's not the the actual physical things. It's the social shit. Mm -hmm. Like People like like back in the day he was talking about Gross Point, like people could walk around freely in schools like that because socially, motherfuckers just wasn't crazy enough to go kill kids. It wasn't the guns was always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they just wasn't crazy enough to fucking do it. So like you gotta I mean, for lack of better terms, like you gotta fix the crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? you gotta fix the crazy. Right? And that's where these mental that makes institutions sense, yeah. come into play. Because they really? close every mental institution that I know of. Really? And, <laughs> and them motherfuckers need <laughs> How this nigga comment that he's sitting right here, dog. <laughs> This nigga said, blessing the angry man and monk, aka the breakdancing crew, aka white my forehead. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, he just got a dance man, white my forehead. <laughs> 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 I'm calling this on my own show. Like, and he's sitting show. right here, though. I don't think it's like I was at work, though. Duh, never said. Um, let me see. Uh, Bo said, that's the other problem. People that don't know shit about guns always say some dumb shit that ain't true. Uh, you can you can only get an automatic weapon with Class 3 legally, and you're always going to have a black market for everything. Yeah, that's the thing yeah. about the black market and yeah. shit. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> Bill said, dude, Q, preach. I'm just saying, you got to fix that part. Like, it ain't the... Like limiting the guns and the ammunition and shit, that ain't go do shit if the if niggas still crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like if you don't fix shit socially, nigga, it don't make a difference. But they don't. They ruining <clears throat> it though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They like they eighty six and like nigga crazy houses, Norville, mm -hmm. all them shits is gone now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because these motherfuckers are all on the street. And, I, and like I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna uh 
I don't want to make light of the situation about with the uh, unemployment shit and everything, but like niggas, niggas was doing a lot of scamming and shit. Like it, oh, yeah. it was happening. Motherfuckers stole a lot Stupid of money. Ass motherfuckers fucking my shit up. I can't even get my shit because these idiots. Yeah, but yeah. but in real but in real life, the thing about that shit though is that um I mean I hate to put it like this, but when niggas was scamming and getting money for real. They weren't killing each other. Like people was kind of happy. They, we had access to actual resources. Thanks. They stopped killing each other. Thanks to Trump. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, 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 you don't hear I'm that. Not, I'm not I thinking. Don't hear that. I'm not thanking any institution for for I doing what's supposed I to be done. I don't want to hear corona. that. Yeah. Right, thanks to Corona, hey, motherfucker. Hey, hey, I know y'all don't want to hear that. Thanks to Corona, we didn't get it in any wars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get anything. We was getting money. He put it out there for you. Know, he goofy I'm right just now. saying that shit happened though. Like yeah. I'm not a I'm not a Trump supporter by fucking yeah. far, but that motherfucker had no wars. Nobody nobody wanted to fuck with us. Yeah. Because hey, he because he know they know he would have said, hey, go kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Go kill them all. <laughs> no, I think with guns, though, niggas need to start teaching at a young age about just knowledge. Exactly. Knowledge on gun and that's what I was going to go to my shit. Yeah. yeah. White you know kids know what saying? know about that shit, nigga, shooting guns at seven, eight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. we don't know shit about it. We just know how to get it the legal way for the most part. Mm -hmm. And shit, we yeah. use that bitch. And, and we get the motherfucker off us. That's we the only it. reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only or reason why we got to go. for no fucking reason. It's just some, some wild shit. Like, I mean, you got to you gotta normalize it. Like, when we... Like you got to look at the difference. Like when when white kids coming up and shit, guns is for uh, f you know, guns is for hunting and like useful shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We scared of guns. Actually. Yeah, like, we scared of fears, guns. They're, they're fearing you. Like don't fucking touch that. Exactly yeah. right. So that that narrative itself has to change. Like you got to understand because like you got a kid. Uh, even when you got a young kid and shit, I know that everybody don't agree with that and shit. But I think that even. As a, a younger teen and shit, like if if that younger teenager is in the house and needs to be able to access that that weapon and shit, you need yeah, to know man. how to use it safely. Yeah, yeah. So and that means that you gotta have those gun conversations early and mm -hmm. not just the don't touch this yeah. shit, like leave it yeah. like that. You can't have that conversation. Can you take kids? Yeah. Like, just, will, I, will I be able to take shots at a gun range? Um, I don't know how that worked though. Yes, how did it? Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, sure. Is it fourteen? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. I can't remember. Yeah. Like, like, low key, like real talk, I never shot a gun before in my life. Yeah, and see, like, and you, and you probably need to. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. So and so that's just, this is my thing though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted to get this little thing together for the kids, for the youth, to <laughs> teach them if they if they kids can't do it. You know what I'm saying? If you can't do it, you yeah. know what I mean? Because these motherfuckers out here need that guidance, bro, and we lack them. Like you said, we scare them off. Like yeah. don't touch this motherfucker yeah. like right now mine is eight and i'm about to start teaching him immediately yeah. mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like this motherfucking articulate words that come out the fucking air yeah. you know this is this this is that you don't supposed to do this you supposed to do that and and let's get him going you know what i'm saying because yeah. i'm not at a young age these white kids knew how to shoot for fucking 40 yards 50 mm -hmm. yards 100 some yards they can hit some shit you know, what you know I'm how saying? to break a gun down you know how to All break it down know how to clean mm -hmm. it you know what i'm saying yeah. like they need that. Our kids need that. You know you, what I'm saying? But you also, you know what you need to teach them? Mm. That I don't hear a lot of people saying. What? You got to teach them or, or show them because I don't know if you can you can teach this. But you got to show them what a fucking gun can do to a person. Mm -hmm. Dig. You know, you got to show them footage of somebody's head blew the fuck off. Mm -hmm. Dig. You know what I mean? So they know this is what'll happen if you do this. Because how many times we hear, you know, kids just getting a gun and shooting it because they really don't understand what mm -hmm. that fucking bullet mm -hmm. can do to you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the thing with me growing up, my father had them bitches everywhere. You know, and I think the fear for me was, nigga, I wasn't about to waste his bullets. Yeah. <laughs> you know how much the motherfuckers cost him? Right. I ain't about to be out here fucking around. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? And see, and see that, was, that was Angry Principal's concept, is that if, if you had to pay so much for a bullet, you wouldn't waste it doing so much frugal shit. And then, but then, like I said, my father yeah. also took the time to show me mm -hmm. what a bullet would do. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was uncomfortable, you know, but he showed me photos and pictures of motherfuckers without a leg or yeah. somebody without an arm. Mm -hmm. Or I had the, uh, I ain't going to say pleasure, but, you know, I had the, uh, <laughs> right. He took me to a crime scene. Oh, shit. You know, not... A, a fresh crime scene. Yeah. You yeah. Know, we rolled past it. He didn't okay. actually like it. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I'm, I'm uh, cool on that trauma at that age. <laughs> yeah, he was just getting off work, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and it, it was still fresh out there, so... And he took me to show me that this is what a bullet can do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I had a clear understanding 
of not to play with this motherfucker. Yeah. Because, like I said, I, I saw the repercussion. You yeah. know what I mean? It's kind of like how my mama did me with sex. <laughs> you know, she showed, took me to the hospital. Like, this is a corrupted piece. <laughs> yeah. No, you, 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 you laughing, nigga, but she... she she took me right down to that motherfucker and got all the medical books and showed me. Yeah, this is a corrupted pussy. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. What does all this shit around the vagina looks like, motherfucker? Uh, <laughs> what's about yesterday on the show, dog? About body counts, but just want to know like, how many STDs you're going to have. Hell yeah. Hey, what does this shit around the vagina looks like, cornmeal? What is this? <laughs> motherfucking balls looking like a Nationalist Crunch out this <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> No, but I feel what you're saying, though. I'm yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> right. And, and like Monk said, that's a lot of... T you you got to incorporate that. You know, the repercussion of a gun. You know, yeah, white kids, we can sit up and say they learn how to do it. You know why? Because they... Son of Liberty say that's not a realistic scenario. So, what is a realistic scenario, then? No, because you... you like I said, think there's a realistic scenario. So, what, what is a realistic scenario, then? Why, why uh, Bo run? said that you got to have a special permit to take uh, kids to the range. He said a lot of ranges don't want the liability, which I can probably understand that. Yeah, I only got away with it because my old man was a cop. Yeah, yeah gotcha. So. But, yeah, um, like I said... You, you <laughs> he said know. guns, country, and the Bible... Let's uh let's go ahead and leave the Bible out of that one probably. <laughs> sorry uh, for all the Bible toters. I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and leave the Bible out of that though. Probably <laughs> 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 think said raspberries growing on the cooch. <laughs> D will what up though? Anyway, dog, my fault. We got way off subject. And shit. <laughs> no, like I was saying, you know, the, like he said, the white kids can shoot from forty yards out, but again, they are actually seeing what that bullet is doing. Yeah. You know, so they they know what the fuck the bullet gonna do mm -hmm. because they're hunting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They seeing this motherfucking bullet rip this big ass bear in half, yeah. so they know what to do to a human. Yeah. Um. Oh, D. Will said he took his daughter to the range with no problem and shit. Yeah, I guess it's certain ranges. Yeah, that's what I think that that is an important part though, the change the narrative of, of like how we view guns. I think that's definitely something that needs to change. You got to be actually more comfortable. Uh, got to be more comfortable with it and like have to just change that narrative of it being such a the, the negative uh, connotation behind it and shit like like I don't understand like I mean like like I don't understand that like, guns don't kill people people yeah. kill people you know what I'm saying I don't, I mean, yeah. we done heard that shit and like you said like you said you know what I'm saying it's some crazy motherfuckers out here that would just go do some shit just to see what the fuck is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I know, and, and and it's fucked up because the mental institutions are shut the fuck down. I'm gonna keep bringing that shit up because that's what it is, bro. Yeah. Like I don't understand like simple shit, bro. It's simple solutions to simple shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, yeah. like the space and all that shit. We don't know too much about shit, but the shit right here yeah. is simple, and a lot of motherfuckers just go around simple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The whole racism thing, it's shit. All this shit is simple shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just stop being racist. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You bleed like me. You fucking... <laughs> just stop. <laughs> you know I'm saying? Stop. You know what I'm saying? Just stop being racist. You bleed like me. You shit yeah. like me. You sit down. You do everything like me. We just yeah. a different color, dog. Like, it it right. doesn't matter, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we bleed the same fucking color, bro. You know All what right. I mean? This shit just... The whole the whole thing, like I say, with, uh, with, with guns and shit, I, I think is... I, I think I, I got a different... A different... Uh, kind of perspective of it now because I'm older and shit. I think when I was younger, I, I didn't even take this conversation seriously. But now we old and shit and niggas got families and shit like that. I take it a little differently now and shit. I, and I do actually agree with, you know, NRA people and shit and mm -hmm. some Republicans and mm -hmm. shit. I definitely don't want my definitely do. my right to be taken. I mean, because like, I want all of my rights, including those as well. Um, I I don't always use that as the, the reason behind it. Like, the you know, just like that's my right and that should be the end of it. I, I just like to look at it from a, a standpoint of getting again, the motherfucker off you. <laughs> I know, right? And, and I, I hate to keep using that because that's not everybody's reality. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people live in areas and they moved away from areas um, that they they feel you know they feel safe and comfortable in. Some of us have not, mm -hmm. and like I need to be able to get the motherfucker off me, right? If whether it's my right or not, <laughs> I think I still want to be able to do that shit. So I, I just feel like I, I don't think that any nothing to do with the commodity side of it, like the physical sale, trade, or marketing yeah. of ammo or guns. I don't think it's gonna be a a solution to whatever this situation is. Mm -hmm. Whatever got these motherfucking kids mad and shit, getting bullied and shit, and not being able to psychologically 
handle some of that shit is what needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Not the motherfucking guns. Like, it's the people. People got to be fixed, dog. Like, like, I, like, like I, I But understand. then at the end of the day, though, the people ain't, they not lucrative in the economic system, though, so they don't care about They that. don't care about you. Yeah. Bro, I, I agree with you with something that you always say, bro. Like, everybody need a little counseling. And I think it, <laughs> counseling in schools should be fucking beefed up. Yeah. I think counseling in the police fucking... Whole they whole organization oh, shit, yeah. organization need to be beefed up because yeah. it's a lot of motherfuckers just needs I mean need somebody to fucking talk to bro like <laughs> Hell you know, yeah. for real shit you know literally, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. literally let's need somebody to talk to because yeah. if you talk to your room and your room to yourself and, sh and you start talking back to yourself and you start yeah. hearing fucking voices yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gonna be crazy so you gonna be crazy you know what I'm saying I'm not crazy <laughs> talking to your own self answer your own self and all that shit. I talk to myself all the time. <laughs> and you guys, yeah. I answer myself in the best answers you're going to get. <laughs> How do you think of that? <laughs> anyway. If you ask uh, a question, you don't know it. Right. Uh, D. Will <laughs> say, most of the people out here killing folks did not go and get a license and training. Pookie killed somebody with a dirty stolen gun and shit. I, like, like black markets, all that shit, is go, that's always going to be a thing. Whenever you can make some money. Because I, I guarantee if you make the bullets a million dollars, it'll be a nigga who they already had a shitload of them at the crib. Gonna sell them to you for two fifty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, you gonna get the you gonna get the guns. You're gonna get the ammunition. Fix the fucking people, dog. I know at the end of the day, that shit is a capitalist society. And capitalism do not thrive on people. It, it thrives on commodities. I understand that. So, like, it's not, it's not really gonna ever be a simple solution. Because economically... Like the government or the, the people themselves ain't going to never give up on the money. The money is the money. And that's it. That's what keeps shit moving. And that's just how it's going to be. Long, Wall, long as Wall Street and the black market moving, nigga, you can cancel anything trying to cancel anything off the, off the street. Yeah, anything off yeah. the street. Because, yeah, sales is sales. Marketing is marketing. Like, it's the commodities, the good, mm -hmm. the, the, the sales of sales and trades of goods and services, mm -hmm. nigga. Like, that's that's what we thrive on. That's yeah. what it is. Because they know shit going on. Like, niggas, they know kids take Percocets, yeah. Molly Percocets. And they ain't stop making them bitches. Because yeah. that shit, <laughs> that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit produce money you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying sure. they, they know kids taking opioids and all this no, all shit. shit but yeah. they it ain't stopped crack didn't stop because they know that shit make money you know what I'm <laughs> saying like my I just, I'm laughing but I'm not laughing but angry man I just asked that yesterday cause we was talking about something he was like is it still crack is I'm like dog it's still niggas selling crack yeah. so they selling that shit to somebody yeah. unfortunately it's still a motherfucker somewhere free base mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody no, this nigga D-Will This nigga mm -hmm. like said Monk is very handsome And red <laughs> What the fuck is No that nigga's red Bitch wipe my forehead Bitch wipe my forehead <laughs> Yo Yo if you got any Last minute comments dog, Hit us in the comment box If you're on IG live You can hit that join button You can come in live uh, You can hit us on Facebook Or Twitter Or you can give us a call 313 444 3032, man. Once again, that's 313-444-3032, dog. We're going to go around the block one last time before we get up uh, get up out of here on Monday. Uh, Easy Street closed, so you ain't got to worry about Easy Street today. For sure. But then pull up tomorrow, though, Tuesday. Uh, Taco Tuesday. I'm bringing Taco Tuesdays back. Bringing tacos back? Oh, Taco shit. Taco Tuesdays. It's going down. 16101 East 10 Mile Road, dog. Pull up on my nigga slinging chickens out the kitchen. You feel me, dog? All right, also hit him up for Chef to your doorstep. For sure. On IG and on Facebook, dog. He'll come whip up a motherfucking uh, major dinner at your crib or you can just drop it off at the doorstep for real if you want to do uh, clean the kitchen. contactless <laughs> delivery and shit. Yeah, clean the kitchen and shit, dog. For sure. We'll go around the block one last time, dog. If you got a last minute comment, dog, we're talking about solutions for gun control, dog. What do y'all think about that shit? But we go just kind of answer the question we've been answering before. Is that, and that's if raising the price of ammunition would actually solve the issue and shit. We want to know about that, dog. Hit me in the comment box. Going around, final sentiments. Angry man, what you say about that shit, dog? Well, for motherfuckers out here bullshitting with guns and doing dumb shit, just start giving motherfuckers life in prison without the possibility of parole. Here you go. Here you go. Throw their ass away. I know these are your final sentiments. I'm going to be quiet. Throw their ass away. I mean, shit, if a nigga, uh, uh, you, one of my problems with all this gun control shit is you tell a nigga, man, you fire that bitch off, you're going to go to jail. Mm -hmm. First answer he going to, well, first thing he going to tell you is, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. To me, that's a problem. Yeah. You're supposed to give a fuck about going to jail. <laughs> so you're supposed to. Yeah. yeah. That's not a place that you just want to just be like, all right, I'm cool with being in that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, like, it's like, it's gonna, like going to Punta Cana or some shit like this. <laughs> let's, let's go to Punta Cana. Let's go, let's go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, um, 
I hate to say it, but you know, I was watching some shit on the color television. And, um, <laughs> color television, this nigga old as hell. And um, they was uh, talking to the motherfucking Somalians that you know took over the boat and shit, right? And one of the responses was, they didn't give a fuck about going to jail in America. Mm -hmm. He said, because this is a cakewalk compared to our country. That's why they, they we come over here and commit the crimes that we commit. Mm -hmm. You know, because basically they can deal with that shit. Yeah. They, 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 they was like, we, and then he flipped around and said, you don't want to go to jail in our country. You know, that's something, that's why they come here <laughs> and do that dumb shit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I said, Giuliani calmed down New York. I want to say something so bad. Giuliani calmed down New York for a hot second with the Giuliani rule. You know what I mean? Until, they got hit, until he moved up and got his ass out the way. But, you know what I mean? For some people, I mean, I, <laughs> it, it's hard to... Fuck all that. I know this is your final sentence, dog. Fuck all that. I just got to say this, dog. You can't... It's you hard. cannot tell me that being from our fucking community, you about to tell me that that tougher motherfucking laws and incarceration shit is about to solve a fucking problem. No, no, Mass you, incarceration you, with our you, shit. You didn't let me you, finish, motherfucker. Nigga, finish what? You saying you saying what you always say? You saying that niggas need to fucking basically get crucified for fucking for crimes? For which we we are gonna be the ones that's gonna take the brunt of that shit. Okay, so nigga, no, if we no, ever no, have no, niggas no, getting no, their no, arms no. chopped off for stealing shit, how we will be the only ones walking around this bitch with one arm. So how about not commit the crime? Crime. All right, dog. Have your have your situation. Now, how about I'm, not commit the crime? But but what I was sound getting, good, nigga. How about what I was getting ready to say was, I can sit up here and say all this. You can say all that. There ain't no real solution for this shit. We answered the question a long time ago. Cause like y'all both just said it. Money moves this shit. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's gonna be a real solution for it anyway. I got the solution. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it, it's just you know I'm talking shit, man. But you know because you know I was gonna be mad about this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just talking. I shit. I fucking hate that shit, though. But it's it's, it's just honestly hard <laughs> to come up with a real solution for that shit because the shit it, it, it's too far underground, like you said, because of the black market. Yeah. And then like you said, it's too much money involved in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean it's, that shit gonna have to go back to what this nigga say all the time. This is gonna start at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> teach right. your motherfucking you <laughs> teach your motherfucking kids about the gun. Show them what it could do to people, and show them what consequences are if you go out here and do bullshit. You can't. Yeah. It's not about just showing them how to shoot it, how to break it down, how to do this. You got to give them the whole package of what comes along with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to show them. You, you pull the trigger on somebody. You can't take that bullet back, and this is what's going to happen. Right. And this is what's going to happen to you. That's all part of educating about a gun. Dude. Not just, come here, let me show you how to shoot this motherfucker. No. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me show you where it's at in the house if you need it. Nah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lot that goes into that. You know what yeah. I mean? So, that's just me. Like I said, I was talking shit earlier. <laughs> but... Like I said, it, it's all about educating these motherfuckers, man. Yeah. You got to. And if you're going to start off at a young age, you better be prepared to show them the uncomfortable part of it. Yeah. Not no, just okay. the fun part. For sure. You know what I mean? Because you got to show them what it does and consequences. Yeah. That's, that's, now, that's my real sentiment. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> more money, man. What you say, bro? Bro, only way we're going to fix this is we get more mental institutions out here, bro. I'm I'm just I'm just being real, bro. Yeah. Like it's a lot of crazy out here, bro. Like mm -hmm. from it's a lot of fucking dumb shit go on out here. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. from the judicial system, cause a nigga can go to jail for for selling a bag of weed for fifty years, and nigga would touch a little boy and be in that bitch for thirty minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that shit is crazy, bro. Like shit has to change, bro. And we got all this crazy out here, and they just out here. All this crazy. <laughs> we do, we do. We got all this crazy out here, just roaming the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think like fucking like like fucking Walking Dead and shit. That, that, that shit about to happen. You better beef your guns up for that shit. Zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse is about to be upon us. You understand me? <laughs> That's so here, that shit is here, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, like I'm, I'm, I'm only being real, like for real. Like if we beef the motherfucking counseling up and the people just talking and just getting this shit out and putting it in the air, bro, I mm -hmm. think a lot of fucking gun shit would would, would trickle down. I'm talking yeah. about in the hood. I'm yeah. not talking about. I mean, everywhere, honestly. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. But you know, when we talk, we be talking about our. Yeah, community. we be talking yeah. about where I'm from. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But 
everywhere, everywhere, honestly, everybody needs some counseling just to let that shit off. And I used to hate that shit saying that shit. I don't even see myself saying that shit two years, three years ago. Yeah. But at what I'm seeing right now in the world, they, everybody just need to fucking talk to somebody, get that shit off get their that chest. Shit out. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Fact, and stop fact. sitting in the room talking to yourself and, be, and getting bullied. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna say you put yourself in a situation to get bullied, yeah. but in some situations you can get yourself out, you of, get it. out of it. Yeah, yeah for sure. You yeah, know what I mean? Just not being, you know what I'm saying? Like we raising men, not punks. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and that's what it is. Teaching the gun safety, teaching all that shit that that we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 Sean said back in the day, they used to tell us you better not touch that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. You know it was what taboo, saying? nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stay you know, away from that. Stay away from that motherfucker. Yeah. And now we need to need to let these motherfuckers know this is how you take off the trigger lock that's yeah. how you do everything yeah. you know what I'm saying if, if, when you need it you know yeah. what I'm saying when situations need it you yeah. know what I mean so and then like he says just know the consequences behind that and shit and know everything come with that, that shit, shit. Is, that shit is final when yeah. you pull that motherfucking trigger it's, it's final, final. It's, yeah, yeah, it's final hell yeah it's over life over or somebody else life over Somewhere, exactly Shy what you say now what's your final sentiments on the way out there? I said piggyback on what he said man uh, teaching that shit the crib man young age uh, making uh, increasing the price of a bullet ain't gonna change shit, man. It's gonna make it worse for us. Give them advantage anyway. They right. want to kill them motherfuckers in the school. We don't really do that shit too much. We just <laughs> right. be shooting that motherfucking niggas. We trying to kill. We might shoot grandma or some, some bullshit. Like, no, it's not even funny, but yeah, I, I, I like think. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like taking taking that assets from us and making it higher ain't gonna do nothing but shit cause trouble. Cause then we gonna find out who got it and start robbing ass. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't even thought about <laughs> that Double shit. Weapon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Double weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my thing is just, man, get knowledge on it, like Angry said, man, learning about the shit, knowing what it can do, how it can affect you in the long run, going to jail, protecting the crib and shit, and shit, that, that's about it, man, just get knowledge and shit, dog. Yeah. For sure, I agree with that, dog. On that, we gonna round it off. Uh, let me see. My man Bo said, "Go buy guns, buy ammo, get trained, continue to train. Always keep the gun pointed in the safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Always know your target and what is beyond the target." For sure, dog. Those are like real tactical shits. Because that's how a lot of shit come up. Because you, 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 you forgot got there's a nigga behind. <laughs> you know, you got shoot. this motherfucking high power rifle that you, you forget that bullet may go through that motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. I know what's hey, behind me. Shit going through that. Yeah. Uh, Bill said, Monk, uh, he said, throw him a belated birthday cake for his dirty 30 and shit. He said, he getting old like us. you is old. He said, you is old. On that note, though, I just want to say, I want to repeat something I said on Saturday, though. I think uh, whether that be uh, violence just amongst the community, or uh, school shootings, I think that it is definitely a social issue and not a commodities issue, dog. So, like, sure. trying to fuck with the, the selling, buying, or trading of uh, any any goods such as guns or ammunition, I, I don't think that uh, removing that access or making it uh, a little bit less accessible is going to solve any of those issues and shit. You got to fix people socially, and then the rest of the shit is just fall in line. Like I said before... Schools and all that shit, movie theaters, large gatherings, all that shit was safe. All them guns was still available. Mm -hmm. Like niggas just wasn't as crazy. <laughs> so like obviously that's the, the that's the deciding factor right there. Just fixing people socially, and however that comes about, that means like what Monk Money said, like more uh, mental uh, institutions or at least more resources for people to even figure out if something wrong with them and shit. All that shit, and just especially for the black community, for us to stop acting like that shit is taboo too. Like, like, nigga, your mental, your mental health is shouldn't be taboo. That shouldn't be something that you're afraid to discuss with your family. And, and, and I, what up, black? I don't want to, you know, say interrupt your your fucking last ahead. sentiments, but mm -hmm. that's the shit I'm talking about, though. Like that, that shit is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like we will spend trillions of dollars on shit that's outside our fucking country. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to fix the problem that's in this country, right. like this motherfucker, we still have fucking very issues that that, that goes on in this country yeah. that need to be fucking fixed. Homeless. People, niggas coming from the army being homeless, that shit is fucking retarded to me, Yeah, that, bro. Don't, that definitely don't make that sense. That shit is just yeah. retarded to me. Like, right. them, them situations, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting them counseling, bro. Like, that shit is... That shit should be a no-brainer. No-brainer. It's simple, simple, but bro. But it ain't gonna make them no money. Exactly. <laughs> right, it ain't gonna make them no money, dog. All they gonna do is just keep, you know, uh, keep the wheel going. Gonna, yeah. gonna, gonna throw that back on us and say that's our responsibility. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna touch a lot of people with this comment. When you got a, a, a $3 million mega church sitting on the corner with nine abandoned <laughs> houses down the street. You know what I'm saying? 
You got uh, <laughs> you got these motherfucking ministers that's taking G fives to do five services in one day, <laughs> when you got eight homeless motherfuckers directly across the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's true. All, all those things are true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All I mean, those things are so, true. So, simple, so, simple, bro. So a lot of this shit we really can't put on the government. When well, some of it, not all of it, but mm. some of it can be fixed in house. Shit, it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be fixed. The only way it's gonna get fixed. It's the only way it's gonna get fixed. Man, I mean, you know, I, I don't understand it. You would spend all that money on jet fuel, nigga. And like I said, you got niggas <laughs> in jet fuel. You got motherfuckers across the street from your your, your church just. Just, just want the big piece of chicken today, though. <laughs> dog, for real. On that note, dog, we didn't have a uh, very lively conversation. If you've been checking us out on YouTube right now, make sure you click that uh, subscribe button so that you get a notification. Every time we go live, dog, don't forget uh, episode 61 of the Shy vs. Everybody podcast with T2 Times off of 107.5 is available tomorrow night, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on eblockradio.com. New episode of uh, Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey podcast on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, also on eblock radio.com uh that's it we about to get up out this bitch man thank y'all for checking us out whatever you go do today man make sure that you do arrive alive dog to the next time you already know what it is the live is cloud radio show on the planet earth cuz straight from the e-block radio live on your dial right this moment man this is the wake and bake show i got my man angry man holding it down i'm dropping bars too man <laughs> i'm doing it my man Mug money holding it down man you already know my man shy from the shy versus everybody podcast in the building blessings to you all <laughs> and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all. What's up, Black What's up, dog? Shit, Shit, Nice to get washed up. I ain't in that bitch, mom. Shit. Perfect.